In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the measure tool so we can take a look at how to measure important information about our models or drawings. So first of all, let's go over to the measure tool and it is found under the edit objects part of the design tab. So let's click into it. Now notice we've got the first option highlighted here, which is a measure between two points. So that means with this option selected, you can click on two points in the 2D view and the form will report the measurements between the clicked locations. And in this case, it'll report the distance angle x distance, y distance, the first point of x, y, and the cursor position of x and y. So let's have a look. So if I click over here, you'll notice I've got a cursor that is in measure mode. So I can click here, and I can click here with my snapping options on, and it will tell me the distance between the two points that I've clicked. In this case, from where I clicked over here and where I clicked over here, I've got 4.7733 inches, the angle of 44.85 degrees, an x distance of 3.3841, a y distance of 3.3664, the first x point and the y point. And you can see if I move my cursor around, the cursor position changes on the fly. So you can see it will reflect where I am currently. So if I put my cursor, for example, on the left hand side here and then move it across to the right hand side, you can see it updates it in the form as, along with the distance angle x distance y distance in the form as well so let's look at the latter half of the form now and now we have the span slash contour properties so this mode allows you to find precise information about the individual spans of a vector shape in the 2d view so we can use our mouse pointer to click on any part of a shape and information relating to that entity will be displayed on this form so let's have a look at what that looks like. So I'm going to click on the inside shape here. And you notice it highlights it there for me in a different color. And you can see it's given me the type of span I've clicked, which may be a line, could be an arc or a bezier curve. In fact, if I click up here, you'll notice now says it's a bezier. And if I click on this span, it's a line. If I click on this one, I get a bezier. And you can see how powerful this tool is because it gives you information about the span that you have clicked on. It's giving me a length, so 4.3353 inches, a start point of X and a Y start point along with their end points as well. And you'll notice, notice I also get some vector information here. So I get the area of the item I've selected or the total area of the selected vector. I get the perimeter, so the total length of all the spans forming the perimeter of the shape. And I get the number of spans, which is the total number of spans in the shape. Now you notice I also have these options over here grayed out at the moment for center point, for X, Y, and radius. So how do we get that? So let's have a look. So let's go draw a circle. So I'm just gonna draw a circle, and then I'm gonna go back into the measure tool going to zoom in just a little bit so we can have a look at this and if I click on it again we get the property so this time we get a type that is an arc but now we get a center point so it's showing us the center point of this circle as well as giving us the radius of this circle so you can see how powerful this tool is and how it can be quite useful in terms of making your own projects and designs but for now we can click out of that form and that concludes our video on how to use the measure tool